All right, guys, here is the progress that's been made. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Really exciting things are happening. First of all, thank you for all your love for the last video that we vlogged, which was Bell leaving. We actually took some time away from the camera, mostly. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> after that, which was nice. She's doing very well. She went through Singapore for a couple days, had a great time. She went to Sri Lanka. She's getting, she's been there about five days maybe. But she's been working for about five days and she's liking what she's doing a lot, you know. Um, just learning another culture. It's been good. She's doing a, she's doing great. If you missed it, I'll put her Instagram down below. Luca is in Japan. <laughs> He's been there for how long now? Feels like forever. Yeah, <laughs> right, just over a week, I guess. No, uh, oh, oh yeah. yeah, a week and a half. Maybe a week and a couple days. He's oh. doing great. Oh, it feels so long for Luca. So weird. Yeah, it it's does. So weird. It feels so long. Yeah. He uh, he's doing a gr he's doing really good. Yeah, he's I think he's gonna end up falling in love with Japan. He <laughs> likes Japan That's a lot. Problem, he yeah. said, "I'm not coming home." <laughs> that is the problem. Um, Maybe like in, he likes the independence. Yeah, he loves <laughs> the independence. I'm sure he's doing really good. He's mm. he went with a couple friends from church. They are just killing it over there. They're having a great time. They're working hard. And Judah's got them working a lot, and they love it. So. Um, making good friends in japan <laughs> yes we have a big group chat of course around the world so we wake up to a lot of texts and pictures and videos and it's going very well for them and i'll post judah's instagram too luca doesn't have one so it's it's fun it's fun watching your kids do cool things that really does help with the grief of missing them uh, we do miss them a lot. A lot of people say, oh, your help is leaving. Yes, that's true. But also when your kids are big, they have their own lives. Like they're not just running the house. I'm yeah. running the house. So I don't see a lot of difference. Of course, I would I ask do know them one to difference. Visit. Yes, there's one difference. Uh, there's Huge. one difference. <laughs> when they're Huge. driving around town and dropping off everybody to their thing. I know. You realize our two dri two extra drivers. That's where the we difference it. it makes. Yeah. <laughs> of course I would ask them to babysit sometimes and things like that. And they were very helpful all the time, sometimes making meals, that kind of thing. But we run the house just fine without the big kids there. That's not the issue. No. The drivers. The dri <laughs> both drivers that I had left are gone and I feel it so much. Thank goodness Luca's coming home. Mike is fifteen, he's not driving yet and Man, I'm having to run kids. I had to run the dog to a hair appointment. I'm like, Belle is, she loved to get out of the house when she was home. So she would say, what do you need done today? I want to go, I just feel like driving. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I need this, this, this. Oh man, I will miss that a lot. And she's always like, oh, the kids have voice lesson today. I want to drive them. So she just loved driving them places. Luca was always willing to. So I, <laughs> I miss that so much. Thank goodness Luca's coming home. Uh, that's a big void. <laughs> it is. It and is. then we notice it like... And because we are far from town, we have to kind of coordinate who yeah. does what and all that. Yes. So you really feel that one more. Yes. Like when I had to switch my schedule and it was a long drive. Yeah. Yeah. So that it, one. I also, I'm trying to look for the good. So hear me that I very much miss my kids and I would much rather them all be in my house. But I did notice like instead of making three casserole dishes of something, I only make two and we had leftovers. <laughs> like, it is a lot easier to make two than three of things. It, I, I usually triple recipes. It's a lot easier to double them than triple them. I it's tell like you. I made bacon this morning. Uh huh. As and we had leftover. We never had leftover. Left I made the same. I just realized <laughs> the eaters are gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the big eaters That's are Luca. gone. That's <laughs> Luca. Not Val. She's not a big eater at all. No, Judah and Luca. Judah and Luca, yeah. And then we miss the big kids and their friends over all the time. and just people in and out of the house. So it's a big difference, but we're adjusting, trying to see some good things. It's so great that we have FaceTime and texts all the time. When I lock up at night, there's not like three different people that would be coming out different times at night when it's locked up. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of weird. Nobody else is turning the lights back on. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. It is different. But after they left, what happened is we thought this is going to happen in the beginning of March, but Sure enough, mid-February, we get a call. Oh, the guys are coming to dig the hole for your house today. What? 
because the weather's awesome. The weather's awesome. We have like an early spring and it happened weeks earlier. When in a building project do things ever happen earlier? So today I think maybe they're coming to pour the concrete in the hole that they dug. It's amazing. We'll show it all to you. Foundation. But <laughs> here. Oh, foundation. Yeah. But we are here at the window store this morning on our day off to pick out windows and doors. So we're hoping we know what we're doing enough to make these decisions quickly and affordably. We're gonna make affordable and quick decisions, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the goal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay guys, we did it. We picked out so many. We made a lot of decisions in a half an hour quicker than what was allotted our time. I think we did pretty good. I think we're so. We're fairly decisive, but it did help that they brought an interior exterior designer mm -hmm. and she did help us think through a couple things we would not have thought about and I yep. really appreciate so that she was there. Mm -hmm. um, even some window placements so uh, that was awesome. We were able to get rid of a couple windows which saves money and then uh, one thing that was interesting is I really thought we wanted French doors along the back of the house. We have a lot of windows along the back of the house. It's gonna be so cool but once we saw the sliders we're like I want the sliders just to not have that footprint. I love French doors, but with kids and stuff, I think it's better to not have that footprint in the house of the doors opening up. And I'm happy with the decision and we get to have screens so we could open it all up more, which is a little harder to do when you have French doors because then you have an extra door you're opening as well. Um, so that was a surprising decision, but I think we'll be very happy with it, right? Mm -hmm. It is actually a lot cheaper than what the French does too. Yes, another, oh, I love it when we're saving money. Mm -hmm. So um, our, or my, my goal for the house, I think yours too, we want a lot of living space, but we also want it simple. We didn't want a very complicated house. Um, I'm, I don't need all these nooks and crannies. We want wide open living space. We want a place where people can gather and feel comfortable. Um, so that's the goals, kind of, and I think we're moving in the right direction toward the goals. We really built, we really designed the house. Mm -hmm. And the architect put feet to what we kind of came up with. So yeah. it's exciting, we'll show you. All right, we just made a quick stop at Tractor Supply Company and we bought a little toy for the kids. Actually, it's something for us to get work done with <laughs> and them. Um, but they will play with it. It's a surprise. I had to check the baby ducks and guineas. They don't have guineas yet, but they have a lot of ducks and they're so cute. And once you have these animals, chicks, ducks, it is really hard to pass up the babies. Was it hard for you? No. <laughs> Of course not. <laughs> it, they were so cute, the little ducks. But I, I do want, to, I don't want to get chickens. Where I hope we got to um, hatch out some eggs. But I do want to get ducks and I want to get guineas. And they don't have guineas yet. So I want to raise them together because they eat the same food. It'll just be a little less work. So I'll wait till they have guineas. Guineas eat ticks. We only have four. We need more. Okay, guys, we're home. And there's more happening than I even realized today. So we moved the cows, right? We moved them over to the shelter. We put up cattle panel. When it was freezing the other day, we had to put them back in the cattle panel because the electric fence didn't work again. So thankful we now have um, that working good, but it's so nice to have a spot that they can just have a permanent place in their shelter. We had to move the water there. Problem is the water is so far from us that we are taking loads and loads every day. Luca, that was his job, that was his zone. And he's in Japan, so now Mike is doing it. Nobody likes it. When I do it, I am sore for days, like lifting all these five gallon buckets of water. We'd have like five in the back of the gator and we do like three or four trips a day because we have three cows right now and they just drink a lot of water. And we do have, I'm out here by our cow area. We do have, I'm trying, hopefully the wind's not too bad, a uh, water line out here. So the other day we have a good friend in church. He's a great friend. Actually, they bring their jet skis out here, but he's a plumber. He came up and hooked up the water for us. We couldn't figure out how to get it on. He found a way, it was easy. We didn't have to dig up the whole line. But by that night, we realized that our shed here was flooded. So obviously that's why they had turned it off. There's the line right there. So close to the cows, it would save us to just be able to hook up a hose. So he's out here today. He said he can cut off the line that is leaking that goes into the shed and just keep the line that we need and we're so thankful he's out here today fixing it up for us well this is not as easy as we hoped they can't find the pipe they dug several areas they're gonna try oh solo's over there praying that they find it what a bummer they're trying one last ditch effort um, to try to find where the pipe that's leaking is but it wasn't laid 
in a normal way. Of course not. The other option is to bring it from the road, a new water line, which is many thousands of dollars, and we will not be doing that right now. We will just get 300, 400 feet of hose, maybe. That was gonna be a great solution. The cow shed is right behind that semi. Our plumber is the best. It's so good to work with people that you really trust. He actually will be out here next week putting in the foundational plumbing of our new house. He told us end of next week probably, which is a week from now, which is very exciting. He's actually the one that found us our builder whom we love and it was such a great recommendation. He said he's worked with him for many years and really trusts him. And I tell you, every contractor we've worked with so far with our builder are great people that you just don't even feel bad having them around your property or your house. It's just great when you work with people that you can trust their opinion and their recommendations and their people works out well. Hi hey guys! Oh, Where's my uh, mommy? Mommy, he's, daddy! He's outside! Where, what are you guys doing? Hey Seth, your hair looks amazing today! Hi. Are you so excited? Whoa, what's in your hair? Oh, you hair. did it? Wow, I can tell. <laughs> Thanks, Tori, for your help. Yeah. Boys, they're not helping, but Tori was babysitting. Yes. Oh, looks good. <gasps> she did not. Oh, no. Did Tori have to take care of that? Poor Tori. <laughs> We pay her well for this. I've been making four loaves of bread a day for the last several days. So the first loaf, I, the first four loaves, I did all white flour. Then the second four loaves, I did three fourths uh, freshly ground flour for this sandwich bread. And it actually, it's the most healthy bread I've ever made because it's sourdough, long fermented, and mostly ground flour. It turned out pretty good. I just didn't have enough wheat berries upstairs last night when I was making this next batch. So this one is half and half white flour, uh, freshly ground wheat berries, and it's gonna be good too. But I was really excited that I could do, I've been usually mostly white flour for my sourdough. I've heard it's harder to use freshly ground flour, so the fact that these turned out really well, um, it was like 16 cups of flour for all of that, and only four of them, or just less than four of them were white all-purpose flour. I use a really good flour from Azure Standard, but it is nice that most of it was freshly ground. I was excited about that. And look what I made. Oh, I love and draw so cute. Shy Guy and Zelda. Shy Guy? Oh, cute. Boy, did you do your own hair? No, I'm so pretty. What else can we do more? Oh. Mommy, do you think we can do more top Zelda too? Maybe, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, so cool. Sorry about not so cute in the background, but um, not so cute. Draw so cute. <laughs> it is cute. <laughs> but I was gonna tell you that cows are actually really easy when they're not escaping and they're not in milk. <laughs> You're not milking them. They're living their best life. All right, we're headed out to the chickens. We gotta take care of something. It's a little, little windy out here, so I'll tell you up here on the porch. We now know why it's not good to have too many roosters. Our breed of chicken has pretty nice roosters, but the last week or so, we have had some hens be tortured by many roosters at one time, if you know what I mean, without me saying it. They're ganging up, and um, one of the hens we actually had to rescue, and we made a women's shelter for her. And then one night, we just realized she needs to not be alone, and we were gonna grab another hen, who also has very few feathers on her back end. You know what I mean? And then we just realized, wait a minute, we need to just put the roosters uh, away for a while. We need to put them in the women's shelter. We're just going to, we're gonna have to, oh, Gable. <laughs> we're gonna have to get rid of some roosters, which was the plan. They came of age right like at the end of December and it was just so cold, we couldn't. Uh, take care of them. We have birds that can be dual purpose, so meat and eggs. They started laying more eggs and then they've slowed down and I think it's the aggressiveness of the roosters. Is that possible? They are like terrified. Even the hen that we um, put by herself, she hasn't laid an egg for days and they just, we need less roosters. So we took the battery out of their automatic door last night so they're kind of stuck in there. We gave them food and water, some of them that were in there. We've noticed even the roosters have taken over the hen house. The hens are sleeping in the trees and the roosters aren't going in. So we at least gotta have some of them locked up right now. We're gonna put them in a separate coop, move them right now, let the hens back in their hen house, 
and feed them a lot of good things, including some raw milk. We have American breast chickens, which the French, they feed them raw milk and corn um, before they butcher them for a couple weeks. I don't know if we're doing corn, but we will try to get them some raw milk and fatten them up even more. And I got some gloves, because we're gonna move them. And Hope's gonna vlog. Oh, that rooster's bloody. That means they've been fighting. Ah, oh, that's not good. Oh, hi, ladies and big bull. Oh no, you don't have to get up. It's okay. <laughs> oh. The ducks are good. I only see two guineas right now. Oh, he is bloody. Here, Eli, we could we could uh, keep him. Boy, they're just. We got too many roosters, guys. <coughs> It's not good. Okay, Micah caught one guy. He's gonna go live a real low stress life. Nope, North Coop. We have at least 14 roosters. I think we had 39 chickens. We may have lost a couple. It's been very hard to count them. Probably half of them are roosters, honestly. We'd like to get at least 10, just put aside. Give them, give them a very low stress life for a couple weeks. Fatten them up. Hi guys. Do you want your hips rubbed too? Mm -hmm. Nope. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> She's like, get away from me. Hi, Big Bull. Have you done your job? Hmm? Those roosters. Hopefully they don't hurt each other in there. <laughs> guys, I forgot we got you a present. Wait, really? Yeah, let's go out and see it. Come on. Come on, let's see it. Come on. She's so excited. Yay! Yay! He just gave me a hug. <laughs> Are you so excited? Like we don't have enough things to ride around in around here. Well, it doesn't need dust. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You want to get in? This is not <laughs> you know what it's for? What? It's to carry bags of feed. Yeah. Makes sense, right? Up and down from the chicken house. He's worn out from carrying his siblings. <laughs> All right, guys, here is the progress that's been made. We're driving down by the pond. The pond is right over there. You can see it's very windy out, so I'm trying to do this from the car more. See that mountain there? The kids climb that. They call it the mountain. <laughs> But there is a big, big hole. That is our basement. It's a walkout basement, a double walkout. Does it look bigger from there? Uh, I don't want to fall in the hole. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. I, I got you. <laughs> okay. Don't break my. You're too worried. You're too that corner? That's a bedroom. That's a bedroom. Uh-huh. So, so the sun shot would have been here. Yeah, it would have been. Here's our walkout area and our view of, from the living room down here. There's a music room and a bathroom. And three bedrooms up here. And a workout room and a storage room. And a living room in the middle. With the word burning stove. <laughs> <laughs> when the baby says something cute and everybody calls it that. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is this? Is what is this piece? <laughs> <laughs> this is my dadu <laughs> This is my dadu This is my dadu dadu. All right, it is our day off, so we're we're going on a mystery adventure for a little bit of our day. Convinced Mike to come along with us, so. All of us are here that are in the country. <laughs> Ten of us. Feels like the van is very empty. We could downsize almost. Yeah. <laughs> we could go to a mini van. Anyway, we had a big adventure first because we lost the dogs and we had to chase them all over creation. They discovered a new neighbor. <laughs> oh boy. 
Yeah. Cookie or treat, doesn't she? Yes. Mm, did you get something? <laughs> yep. Catching up on some Jeopardy. Micah figured out what is it? What? Myanmar's main river. Colombo's and Shilao's country. Emily. What is Sri Lanka? Right. Oh, we hey. should have known that. Bell's in Sri Lanka, in Colombo. <laughs> I love you, Mike. Right now, pay 55 cents on the dollar. Bless you. Bless you. Hey, hey. How's your math doing? You do good in math, don't you? See you guys, I'm hanging out with grandma. See you guys, I'm hanging out with grandma. I'm gonna go have dinner. E eat her food. I'm gonna go eat her food. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Making some dreams come true. Yeah. <laughs> they brought their dollars. So she found a cool sketch pad and she found gummy burritos. That is the grossest thing ever. Next to gummy mac and cheese. No, it's coin candies because you get oh. the coins out of it. Nice. We did find a few um, coloring books. We haven't had coloring books for a while and they want to print out Mommy, pictures all the time. This is a Mommy, cheaper option. Mommy. Well, that was something. We made it out alive. Okay, who, who's going to pray? Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, pray. Can you pray, please? <laughs> okay, guys, close your eyes. Okay, she doesn't want help. Go ahead, pray. <laughs> no, try, try, to, try to focus. <laughs> okay, close your eyes. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Your turn. You can pray. Do you want to pray? She just said, that's it. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Good night, peace. I love you. Bye. I love you. Mwah. I love you. Okay. Mwah. Good night. I love you. I love you, sleep good. <laughs>